Oklahoma has a really good shot at making the college football playoffs and making a run at the national championship in 2023. This is a season where you have Dylan Gabriel back at quarterback. You have five-star Jackson Arnold, the guy that is going to be uh, mentored by Dylan Gabriel to prep him for an SEC battle that he's about to endeavor in 2024. you got lots of production coming in. You've got lots of uh, transfers coming in, a big-time recruiting class, top four in the nation. It's looking bright. The future is very, very bright in Norman. Um, I think Oklahoma can make – I think Oklahoma can make their fans feel a little bit co- more comfortable going into their SEC play next year. But the question to me is, which Oklahoma team are we going to get? Are we going to get the Oklahoma team that reaches its potential like Florida State did last year? Or are we going to get the Oklahoma team that settles for 8-4 and four and that's that? So – Number eight in the transfer portal with 12 recruits. Number four in recruiting with 26 recruits, three of those being five stars. Now, a couple transfers that I've got my eyes on are Deshaun McLeod, the the inside outside backer out of Indiana, and Andrew Anthony, the wide receiver out of Michigan. Going back to Jackson Arnold just a second. Letting him get meaningful snaps this season, I think, is going to benefit Oklahoma down the road. I'm not saying he has to come in and start. I'm saying if Dylan Gabriel is winning you games, but you're still struggling, it wouldn't be a bad idea to let Jackson Arnold at least play a little bit and see what he can do. Now, Deshaun McLeod and Andrew Anthony, guys with veteran status, guys that have been in a program, knows what it takes, uh, at least in Anthony's case, knows what it takes to win, to make the college football playoffs, uh, Brent Venables, same thing, knows what it takes to win. He's just got to get people to buy in and ultimately, you know, believe in themselves, I think. I think that's going to be the biggest hurdle for Oklahoma this season is just mentally thinking, you know, hey, we can go 11-1, and one. we can go 12-1, and one. we can go 12-0, and 0, whatever, and make the college ball playoff because that's what 2021 showed us. Even the 12-1 and one TCU that didn't even win their conference last year got in. So it is possible. And I like the path for Oklahoma to do so. I think you're 5-0 going into the Red River game versus Texas. I think Texas is probably the toughest game on your schedule. I think that's a potential Big 12 championship rematch. Um, after that, you go to Oklahoma State, and then you go to Provo in late November. I think that is the trap game to keep your eye on. You, BYU is very, very good at home. The last couple of years, going back to like 2019, they're unbelievable. Just a handful of losses. I think that's the game that Oklahoma fans need to be just a little bit worried about. Let me know in the comment section how you guys see this season panning out for Oklahoma. My guess is 11 and 1, 11 and 2 um, at best, or sorry, uh, worst, I guess. Um, I think they at least play for the conference championship. I don't think this is a season where we had in 2022, 20, or 2021, 2022, where Baylor, Kansas State, TCU, Oklahoma State are competing for national championship. I would not be surprised if we get Oklahoma versus Texas um, in the Big 12 championship that on their exit year before they leave for the SEC. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.